Okay, so these are our um, mid 20th century cast iron rocking chairs. Um, so we've got these, especially the weight of them, we've probably left out for quite a long time. We don't need to stick to move. But all of these slats were completely eroded. The frame was all chipped and marked and rusty. Cleaned it all up, stripped it all down, repainted the frame. The slats I ordered because there's factories that can turn these out a lot quicker to be and it's probably more economical as well. Take a while in the present um, climate, but this is Zappel and each of the slats was cut to fit in a certain position. The base ones are wider than the back ones and it's a bit of variance on the back ones to put them at some of the whole positions changing a little bit between one slot and another. So you really got to do each one individually. Now it's all reassembled, we've got to think about how we want to protect it going on in the future. The paint is fine because so we've used a special paint for that, um, which should all the last, but any wood exposed to the elements, whether it be frost on one hand, rain or intense heat on the other, those three factors can all do irreparable damage cause them to fail a lot sooner than it should in the lifespan. What I really want these to do, I want these to last another 40, 50 years and be passed on to the next generation, you know, because the look of the chair is quite unique. I've not come across many of these before. So we've got to look at pres preservative. Preservative on like just a stain or a, you know something like that which you might put on wood has certain characteristics to what it's made of so we can resist things like fungus, insects, burrowing beetles, but also as a preservative that it can harden and protect the wood from the things that I just mentioned, the rain, the frost, and sunlight. So all in all, when you apply these chemicals, and that's what we are, you know, you get it from your local hardware store, when you apply these chemicals, the wood takes on the characteristic of the chemical and that's what it's designed to do, okay? So in this case, we're putting on two coats of a proper preservative. Once that's dry, and there's a drying time for each one, probably five, six hours, then to see on top of that, we're also gonna put a couple of coats of decking on it. Now with those combined factors, it'll last a good time, it's gonna look absolutely great and they get many, many more years service to come. But I would always recommend, in the worst of the winter, get them into either shed or get some kind of cover over them because intense frost and water could do the worst damage. So you need to protect them for like the worst couple of weeks of the year. Well, it's only a couple of weeks normally, you know, we don't need to get frost them once an end or anything. Right. So that's our, our rocky garden chairs. Um, a very simple spray system, quite widely available. We've got a preservative in there. It's an electric one and it just builds up enough pressure to a small motor which generates a vacuum and blows the preservative out when you, when you spray it.